guys, it's Katie from Crafty here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply Colored Chimp Glitter HTV to a sweatshirt. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be uh, open up Design Space. We're going to use a hand letter cut file from Bossy Brushstrokes. This month's cut file is really cute. It says, actually, I can and I will. A little motivation for the beginning of the year. Um, so once you get that in there, you're going to want to resize it. Mine needs to be about six inches tall for my sweatshirt. And you guys will be able to download this cut file over on the community site for free, as always. We will go ahead and hit make it. And when you're using um, HTV, you always need to mirror, so just tap that mirror button. And we do already have our um, color shimp glitter HTV. I'm using the black. Um, you'll see I've got a maroon sweatshirt. I think it's going to be really pretty. So you always want to take this shinier side. Um, down towards the mat. This is the side with the adhesive on it. It's a little bit matte looking. So you want to always, like I said, place that shiny side towards the mat. The shiny piece is actually the plastic carrier piece and that's the piece you peel away after you press it. Which is why you also want to cut in reverse because you're always cutting the back of the material. So once you've got that on there good, go ahead and hit um, continue and it will connect to our machine and then you're going to select your type of material I've got glitter iron on already in my favorites but if you don't you'll just go to this all materials button and you'll be able to search it so just hit that and now you're gonna go ahead and load the mat into the machine and we'll get started So now that the cut's done, we're gonna go ahead and get our design weeded. I actually like to weed directly on the mat when I'm using HTV. You can kind of use um, the mat then to stick your scraps to, um, which is nice. It makes cleanup a little bit easier. And you can see how pretty this is going to be. This black glitter is one of my favorites. And it's super easy to weed as well. really just pulls right away. Once we get this big chunk out, we will go back through and weed out the small insides of the letters that are left over. Simple as that, that's done. So we'll get this taken off the mat here. One other trick I like to do um, when removing things from the mat is flip it completely over and actually peel your mat away from your material. This just keeps it from um, pulling away. This is especially helpful with adhesive vinyl, but I kind of just do it out of habit with everything I'm cutting. So you guys can see how pretty that is. Um, and we're gonna put it on this maroon sweatshirt. Like I said, I think it's just gonna look really subtle and pretty. So I've got my Cricut Easy Press here heated up. We recommend 320 degrees for glitter iron-on for uh, about 15 seconds. So one tip that I wanted to share is what you want to do, this sweatshirt actually has this little diamond kind of design piece that will help indicate the center. Um, but I always like to fold it in half like this and I'll just fold it right on the bottom of that little triangle and give it a quick press um, to kind of create a center line. When I'm lining it up, it's just kind of a simple um, little extra thing that you can do to help with your alignment. So I've got my um, pressing mat here. I'm gonna just stick that right on there and give it one quick 
press to get the center line in there. And this is also just a good thing to do to prep your material to kind of warm it up a bit. Go ahead and do it on the other side as well. is just telling us that our machine is ready. So you can see now we've got this center line. Um, it just is a good guide to start with. So go ahead and place the whole sweatshirt on the mat, the pressing mat, and then um, we will decide on our placement. Another thing I like to do is actually fold, fold this in half here and create a crease. And this is giving you the center line of the design. And so that way you can line up your two center lines. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but in person you can see um, right where that line is and you can line it up with the line that you've pressed into your shirt. So just pat that down, make sure it's smooth um, and where we want it. I think I'm actually going to go just a touch higher. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of play around with the placement until you feel like you've got it where you want it. And so I think that looks good. So we'll go ahead and give it the press um, now. Like I said, we've got this um, heated to... 320 degrees, um, and we've got 15 seconds on the timer, so we'll go ahead and get it placed on here. Hit the green button to start, and it will count, start the countdown. All right. All right, and now we are just going to give it a quick peel. Look at how pretty this looks, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Oh, it looks so good. You can see it's just a little subtle amount of glitter. And that's it. So start to finish, this took um, about 15 minutes. It's a really easy project and I think it really, um, really looks cute. You could put this on anything. It would look great on a tote bag or even um, an adhesive vinyl in the front of your new 2019 planner or a journal. Um, there's so many ways you can use it. So like I said, I'll have the link to this cut file over um, in the blog post itself, and you will be able to visit our community site and download it for free. Thanks to Arlena Bossy Brushstrokes for providing it for us. She always does a great job, um, and you guys can look forward to 11 more months of free cut files with her, so keep an eye out for those as well.